Hey, hey, so I got all the funky, funky little beastie to show you guys. Check this out. Oops. This is a pair of cat eye versus pendulum hybrids rendered with hand tracing hand. Where did this come from? Well, I was having a conversation online today about cat eye versus pendulum hybrids. Um, the normal one that I do is this one, which is actually a Ronin move, wherein the um, the head of the pendulum hand is tracing the hand of the cat eye hand uh, of the cat eye, right? Um, we were specifically talking about what if instead, <laughs> what if instead you did it with hand following hand, which is not an easy way to perform it at all. Um, Noel started talking about, um, so you know how when you, uh, you do Tricatcher versus Pendulum, how there is that kind of moment up at the top where you're, you're, you're tripping out the top pedal of the Tricatcher inside of itself such that it's almost kind of like a cat eye in and of itself. So, technically speaking, if you isolate that pedal just a little bit, you wind up with something that is passably half of a cat eye versus a pendulum if you switch your hands back and forth, right? So, as we were talking about this, I was suddenly bemused by the idea of, you know, if, if we're just playing around with the top half of this hybrid and we just suddenly stop it right there with the two heads pointed outward, um, technically speaking, the other hand could drop into its own cat eye while the other hand suddenly switched from cat eye to pendulum and back again. Right? So, um, after a lot of practice, the timing for this was ridiculously hard to figure out. This is what came out. My hands are essentially following a figure eight, and at each side of that figure eight, I'm switching which hand is doing what. One hand becomes the cat eye hand, and the other hand becomes the pendulum hand. I'm working on trying to figure out the different timing and direction combinations that work with this, but for the time being, I'm calling this a win. One of the things I kind of dig about it is that it'll stop in the middle in this, uh, uh, this, this kind of pendulum position that we can easily use to, say, move back and forth with, uh, with point oscillations, right? So, uh, just to put together one giant conglomerate of moves inspired by Noel, we can do C cat versus pendulum and switch it out into this and back out into C cat versus pendulum. Yay! <laughs> uh, I really, really dig this pattern. Thanks for the inspiration, mate. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Peace.